Hey, what's going on everybody? This is your captain speaking and welcome to the day of prestige here finally. It's here. It's here. We're ready to prestige. It is time. If you look at our menu here, we have reached player 50. We've done all the necessary daily challenges. We've done all the campaign challenges and we have done 10 million stars. We've actually got 21 million stars right now. Um, and I, I do apologize, I'm not going to be posting like the, the last campaign challenge. Um, I didn't know what they were and I didn't know how many there were. Um, and they were really repetitive as far as like killing bosses, get this far in the mob arena, yada yada yada. Um, and, and so I just wanted to complete them, get them out of the way because people have been asking me when I am going to prestige and the time is now. So. If we go into our challenge menu and we hit prestige, we will see in chat that Captain Swole House is now first prestige on the Steampunk Islands. So if we type in chat, GG, and I now have both symbols. I've got the white star and the yellow check mark. So we are going to head over to our island and, um, we are going to be using this eternal shard. Ooh, I'm so excited. So, so excited. So um, if we look into our kits, um, we can see I actually got some more kit tokens and moved all of my kits over to ensure that I don't get them again. So I got clay moved over. I got wool moved over. I got my sky dropper. But this is what we're going for. We got to get this immortal summoner right here. Um, ooh, I've also got some my kits ready, um, but we're not going to worry about those right now. So I've got several choices here, um, and we are going to be opening this. So let's do it. Here we go. Should we should we invite people to the island? Should we open the island? Let's do it. Um, island privacy public, and we go into global chat. Um, island is public. Come witness me getting a mortal summoner. <laughs> and after this we're going to be talking about what we're doing um from here so um i want to get some people here on the island um i want to get us a orb of flight on here there we go we got a two hour one uh, we'll pop it I've, oh god i'm opening it i accidentally oh god i lagged a little bit oh god here we go please give me a mortal summoner please 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 uh not thief not tier three not flower not robot. I'm, I'm emptying. I got collector! Okay! Woo! Hey, we'll take that. I got the collector standard kit from my um, a more, uh, eternal shard. Ooh, feels good. So let's go ahead. Let's see what's in here. Um, let's jump in. I don't even know what's in collector. Um, ooh, look at this. We got us the three stones, we got a buried treasure, a mystic timber, a war zone crate, ore seeds for days, name fragment crates, nobody really wants those, arcane shards, challenge XP bottles, we got us a storm generator, we got us an immortal star, we got a soul stone, which feels pretty good, and we got us a bunch of enchant crates. So um, that feels pretty good, um, I'm not going to lie, that feels pretty good, I will take it for sure. Um, we are going to... Um, definitely be enjoying that and if we look here on the, the right hand side of our screen I'm finally level one again I can finally start earning some levels back after doing my big level one to 50 um, opening when I moved here to the steampunk islands I am going to be staying here I know a lot of players were leaving um, steampunk but I'm gonna stay and what I'm going to do I'm going to prestige a lot 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 faster this time around because I've been told people love it watching me prestige and so I want to bring that to you. So I'm going to speed run through this prestige essentially. A lot of what I do will be off camera, but um, it's going to be fast, it's going to be fun, and I actually do have quite a bit still planned for videos um, during this prestige because I want to get second prestige at least before um, maybe I move again. So. Um, we're going to start jumping into these campaign challenges. We got daily challenges to do. We got XP to earn out here. And um, if we actually go back here, Island Warp Vault. Um, I've got loads of challenge 
XP bottles to be used. So, ooh, I also have my level 50 loyalty crate, which is going to be expiring here soon. Um, so let's go ahead, let's just open that. And uh, then we're going to start doing us some challenges. I'm going to save a lot of the bottles and uh, my spinners for um, when, I, when I really need them. So level one, I definitely don't need right now. So let's open up our loyalty crate. We're lagging up a little bit. But let's see some massive XP bottles here. And it looks like we're going to land on one of them. What do we got? We got us... What was it? It didn't even say. Um... What do we get? We got us 2200 player XP. Feels pretty good. And we jumped all the way to level nine. Um, and it said I, I've actually got new stuff at my island. So am I getting st stuff for prestiging? Am I getting rewards? I am. Oh, you get the beginning rewards. I forgot. Um, so when you uh, level up your first several levels, you get the um, rewards again. So let's jump into some campaign challenges, get these moving and grooving, and uh, get moving on to prestige number two. If you are excited, please hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, check out my Discord and my Patreon. I'm going to throw links down below. I need more people to come hang out with me in Discord. I've got a Discord. I've got about 100 people in it. And I need more. I need more friends. So come be my friend. Come hang out with me. Let's have a good old time. All right, everybody. Let's jump in and start doing these campaign challenges. And, um, yeah, get going on these because uh, our goal now is to prestige as fast as possible. I did redeem a bunch of my immortal kits here. Um... So let me grab an axe out of one of them, because I'm pretty sure that's the uh, requirement for your first challenge. And if we start breaking a tree, yep, there we go, there's one. Here, let's just sit them back down. I'm making this too difficult. And there we go, there is our first campaign challenge done. Use the kit noob command. Oh guys, this is, this is too easy. And two saplings on your island. Well, I, I can do that. Pretty sure I've got saplings, like, everywhere. Um, super saplings, actually. Uh, part of last week's update, which increased the chances of Mystic Timbers and Golden Apples and whatnot from your trees here. So it increases the drop of those. And now we need to mine ourselves 64 cobblestone. Uh, I do not want to use a very angry miner, to be completely honest with you. Um, I know I've got me, like, a better pickaxe up here somewhere. Let's see, what do we got in here? There we go. And I need cobblestone. None of this is going to be cobblestone. It'll be regular stone, but there's some regular stone in here. Ooh, man, I'm really excited about that collector kit. Really, really excited. And i um, really excited about getting back into it and prestiging once again. I, I, I was so stagnant there for so long trying to finish up my daily challenges and all this. And uh, so I'm really excited to get back into all of these and uh, really having something to focus on again. I still have a lot of building on my island to do even uh, like my uh, other grinders here. And I'm also, if you guys notice, I've got this mystery item shopkeeper. And what I'm doing is about once a day, I'm taking a random item on my island. Usually a, a fairly good item. Um, like I would take something like this challenge bottle or even an emerald ore seed or something. And I place it in the shopkeeper for one star. I alert the masses and um, whoever gets over here first gets to buy it for one star. So um, I also put up this wall here because I was grinding out a competition. And I was holding a bunch of items, I went AFK, and I got blown up by a creeper, and deaded. So, yeah, it feels pretty bad. So I need some cobblestone here. I've actually got 25 on me from what I've mined up already. So let's just stack it up here. And get to mining it away. And like I said, this prestige I am going to um, be speed running through this prestige. So a lot of what I do is just going to be super fast. Um, and like I said, I'm probably going to do quite a bit of it off camera because I want to bring you guys my next prestige video as soon as possible. So, um, and now I need to craft a stone pick, stone axe, and stone sword. 
But if I actually come over here um, into my chest here, I've got the axe and the sword, um, which which do, do not count apparently. Well, that sucks. Let's open up our workbench and let's just craft them. A stone pick, a stone axe, and a stone sword. Voila! And we are done with that. Craft a door, 16 window panes, and 32 wood planks. A door, window panes. Do, do those count? Uh oh. I think challenges may have been fixed where you just can't hold items anymore. And now you have to actually um, craft all of the items once again. Ooh, feels kind of bad, but I can appreciate that. I mean, what's the fun if you can just cheat? I mean, I, I guess it is essentially not even doing the challenge again. So fair enough, fair enough. So we craft up our planks, but it says we're about 66% done. That's weird. What if I like throw these on the ground and pick them back up? No. Nope. Well, doesn't matter. Let's go get us some glass, which I happen to have some of, and craft us uh, some pains. Maybe they just want pains, right? And I, I guess that's the one that's done in the system. Come on, workbench. So let's craft some more doors here. More doors. Ha! Ah. And there we go. And it was the doors indeed. Buy an item from the market and spawn. Well, I don't have to use that. And um, you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's buy us a witch spawner. Right? Why not? I got the I got the stars. Why not? And if we sell, we got a diamond, some gold, some iron, which is 1,100 stars. Easy, blowing our way through. And enter the war zone in mine 20 or oh. again. Easy peasy. Just need to grab me some gear, which I actually don't have any more of. I lost all my god gear. Because I'm really bad at this game. So it feels kind of bad. But I just redeemed a bunch of eye kits, and we're going to run out into the war zone. And see if we can mine up this iron ore here. I want to see just how many challenges I can get through. So place our witch spawn. Dang it. That's a fail. Now witches are going to spawn right on top of that one. Oh well. Not gonna worry about it right now. Cause I'm speed running. So let's go grab us an eye kit. Is this an eye kit? It is. It's the guardian eye kit, actually. So we'll put it on. Oh, and I got my duelist gear here. We'll grab it all up. Just get us some goodies here, some ender pearls. And I need a pickaxe. So let's see, do we have a pickaxe? Pickaxe, pickaxe. We got the guardian pickaxe. We'll take it. So we go to spawn, and we take ourselves out into the war zone, and mine up 20 iron ore. And basically my goal right now is to get to ore extraction, um, and I will cut off the video there, and um, call it a day. Start a melon farm on your island, um, because ore extraction takes a long time. I'm going to do it off camera, um, and... Then we'll probably cut back in on some of the easier campaigns. I'll probably also do my daily challenges. Let's see what those are, actually. Um, let's see. Daily challenges. We've got Golem Hunter, kill 30 players, and kill 10 creepers. Um, Golem Hunter, I can actually do right now. Um, my wonderful Iron Golem farm is perfect for it because they are all already on fire. They are easy to kill. I just need to find them. Here we go. So we step in here, and we kill the iron golems as they are on fire, if I can actually hit them, which I'm having trouble with right now. What is going on? Why can I not hit these guys? Hello? They're all just burning up. I would also like to apologize if the noise quality is um, inferior to my other videos. One, I'm in my bedroom, not my office, um, recording this video. My wife, Kitty, is in the hospital. Um, and I came home for the night because I have to go to work tomorrow, actually. Her mother is staying with her. And so, um, I, I'm just relaxing in bed for this video. And also, I don't have my headphones. She has those down at the hospital. Well, they're not even my headphones. They're her headphones. They're her nice beats. And so I'm using regular old earbuds. 
Um, so I do apologize if the quality's off at all. I hope it's not. I hope it's not. I can't hear anything. All I hear is iron golems screaming for their lives. We're, we're almost done with this challenge already. I used to hate this challenge because iron golems, you, you gotta hit them like a hundred times for them to die. But yeah, I'll, I'll be back to recording regularly with my, my good old headphones soon enough once she's out of the hospital. Um, we went for a regular treatment that we go for every other month for her. And she got very sick and ended up in intensive care and everything. It was, it was, it was quite horrific. Um, but she's okay now. She, she's doing much better than she was. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get back on track here shortly. So... That's it on the Golem Hunter. We've got uh, Kill 10 Creepers, which I do have eggs for. And uh, let me know what you guys think of my little build here around my drop zone. Um, it was not easy to do, as you cannot generally build um, right next to your drop zone. So I had to use pistons and a lot of redstone, which I'm not very good at, um, to complete. I've got three, only three Creeper eggs in there? I know I've got Creeper eggs out here. I don't know why I even went into that room. Let's see what we got here. Give me my summoner kit. I think it's up here, isn't it? Noob. No, come on. Where are my creeper eggs? There's some. We'll take it. All right. And let's go kill all ten of these creepers. There's one, two, three. Because I gotta, I gotta start knocking out these dailies as fast as I can too. Because I, I, I do not want to get stuck on doing them again. Um, before I can prestige next time. So. I'm going to get this all out of the way as fast as absolutely possible. And that's going to do it for Creeper Diffuser. And now I need to start a melon farm on my island, which should be fairly easy, as I already have one. So all I need to do is really pluck these seeds up and plant them. Two, three, four, and uh, that's going to do it for that. And now I've started Pumpkin Farm, which I already have. This is like one of the major advantages of prestiging. The challenges are exponentially easier, like incredibly easier as you have most of the stuff done, you just have to redo it. And I, I'm playing like two, start a sugarcane farm. Anyway, we are now on to ore extraction, which is to mine 128 iron, 64 gold, 32 diamond, and three emeralds in the war zone. It's gonna take a long time on camera, so we're gonna call that a day today. We got that collector kit from our Eternal Shard. We are feeling fantastic. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe it. Um, we are so close to 800 subscribers. I can't wait to hit that with you all. And uh, yeah, don't forget to join my Discord and check out my Patreon account if you would be so kind. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And we will see you all next time right here let's grab us some sugar cane five six what do we got here seven eight nine ten and done now we need to collect 32 green cactus dye i wonder if magnets still work they do all right that's one of my cheeky little tips from early on level any pickaxe to level 10. this one should be fairly easy if i have Ooh, I've got this very angry minor pickaxe. And I also happen to know that in order to level up a pick to 10, you need exactly 5,550 item XP. I've got a nice big bottle here of 264,000. Um, so we will simply split XP, 5550, and we will slap this bottle on here. My leveling it up to level 10. And now I need 10 jack-o'-lanterns. Also fairly easy. Let's get this stuff back in order. We're gonna drop off everything we don't want. I, will, I do want my underpearls. Okay, there we go. And let's go see if our 10 jack-o'-lanterns that we have 